no idea. But none of us did. In the last couple of months, I felt like I was losing my mind. I actually thought that I had deluded myself about how much you loved me. No. No. And you're still here. And you haven't changed. Except for the eyesight thing. Oh, Kevin. I kept looking in his eyes trying to find you, and I couldn't. I love you. <laughs> You're on. When did this whole thing start? How long have you been in here? Since the end of August. You certain about that? It's ingrained in my memory. It was Labor Day weekend. Labor Day. So when you visited me in Paris in August, that was... That was you. All me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Labor Day. I, I didn't come back for another month. But that was about the time that you started missing the phone calls and cutting them shorter. That wasn't like you. Because it wasn't me. Oh, my God, Kevin. You've been in here all that time. How did you do it? memory of you and our love is what kept me going and i knew that sooner or later eventually of all people you would be the one to figure it out and you'd find me oh, Kevin. i almost did find you i came so close you did yes yes months ago oh Carly and I came to Ferncliff because we wanted to make sure that no one ever got abused the way she did. And, and she was also adamant about wanting to see who the patient was in the room next to her. That was me. I was in that room. But she looked in the window and the room appeared to be empty. I was on the floor. But I, I heard you, or at least I thought I did. That was you. Yes, it was me. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Kevin. There was a staff member right there trying to open the door, and I, I stopped Carly. I talked her out of it because Ryan, Ryan stopped me. He, he refused to let me breach protocol. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. <sighs> this whole thing could have been done months ago. Oh. You're here now. We're here now. There's got to be another way out of this place. I'm going to try to find it. Laura. Yeah? I'm sorry. Why? I took a big chance provoking Ryan like that. He could have snapped and killed us both. Are you kidding? I think you played him perfectly. Really, after all those months of him manipulating everyone around him, including me, it was definitely your turn. And you convinced him to leave us in here alive. That was brilliant. Now I just need you to use that really big brain of yours <laughs> to try to help me to find a way. 